Excavation Sufficient materials should be excavated to accommodate channel units, concrete bedding and haunching. Any soft spots or poorly compacted formations should be made good. Setting out Setting out pins should be accurately located to the correct line and level, with a string line level with the top rear corners of the channel units. It may be advantageous to locate setting out pins to the rear of the units to avoid having to lift the units over the string line. Outfalls Burko outfalls should be installed first. Sufficient material should be excavated to accommodate the trapped Burko gully. 150 mm of ST4 mix BS8500-1 and 2 concrete of the appropriate mix is placed in the bottom of the excavation. The bottom section of the two-part Burko gully is lowered into position with the appropriate pipe adapter placed in the aperture for connection to the underground pipework. A suitable section of the wall of the outfall unit shall be cut out to allow adjacent drainage channels to abut without restricting the flow of water. Cutting shall be achieved by using a concrete saw or disc cutter. Sufficient M-flex sealant is gunned onto the top horizontal surface of the bottom section of the two-part Burko gully so as to provide a seal between the top and bottom sections. The top section of the two-part Burko gully is lowered into position. The bedding concrete should be laid and brought up to the appropriate level dependent on surface finish as shown in the Burko standard detail sheet. Channel installation. Bedding concrete ST1 to BS8500-1 and 2 of the appropriate thickness and depth should be laid as specified in the Burko standard detail sheets. The top of the Burko channel should be 5mm below the final pavement surface. Channel units should be laid onto the freshly mixed bedding concrete, starting at the outfall, i.e. working uphill. Alternatively, the channel units may be bedded onto a layer of 10 to 40 mm cement mortar, M12 mortar to BSEN 998-2 on a previously prepared concrete foundation. The concrete haunching shall be of a concrete grade appropriate to the drainage channel loading class as specified in the Burko standard detail sheets. Haunching shall be carried out as one operation to a complete line of channel units to the dimensions indicated in the Burko standard detail sheets. Where channels are laid on or adjacent to existing or proposed concrete slabs, transverse joints shall be formed within the units and haunching adjacent to the slab joints. Longitudinal movement joints shall also be formed between the haunching and the slabs as described in the Burko drain standard detail sheets. Where cutting the Burko channel units is required, they shall be cut with a concrete saw or disc cutter so that no single unit is less than 350 mm long. Burko gratings shall not be cut unless directed by the engineer. Any cut galvanized steel shall be renovated using DEFCON Z or similar approved. Channel joint sealant. Jointing of channels shall occur prior to the fixing of the grating. A bead of M-flex sealant should be gunned into the groove formed when adjacent channels are butt. Surplus sealant shall be removed from the inner surface of the units as work proceeds. Grating installation. Adjacent carriageway and or footway construction shall not be commenced within three days of any jointing or haunching surrounding concrete being placed. Burko grating shall be securely bolted to Burko channel units before adjacent pavement construction is commenced. All gratings shall be evenly spaced with bolts tightened down securely to the appropriate torque. Light 25 newtons per meter, 100, 150 and 200, 75 newtons per meter, 300, 100 newtons per meter. On completion of the works, the drainage channel units shall be cleaned out and left free from obstruction. This shall be carried out either by removal of gratings or by high pressure water jetting, 100 to 150 bar at 200 litres per minute minimum. Unless otherwise agreed with the specifier, the slot openings shall be covered by timber boards or other method during jetting operations. Outfall units shall be emptied. The cleaning process should be repeated when necessary on completion of any remedial works. Burko end caps, end cap outlets. Where the Burko channel run does not terminate at an outfall, the base unit shall be sealed using the beanie block end cap or end cap outlet. These are to be held in position by installing 150mm of concrete haunching. Marshall's M-Flex sealant should be gunned into the sealant groove. 